The event tonight was made in Britain and it was three strong British brands talking about their experiences and their mindset really and ultimately I suppose where they're trying to get to. Welcome to the Entrepreneurs Forum Made in Great Britain event. Three British brands, three companies that see Brexit as a huge opportunity. I've had all sorts of businesses over the years and one of those uh, opportunities was a, uh, a aluminium fabrication business making motorcycle parts. Um, from there I got a phone call to say uh, there's an American who, who brought Norton way back in the 90s, early 2000s and he said I'm selling this business, do you want it or not? I learnt a lot about how to raise money and, and psychology and people. You realise where that money's going to come from and the money isn't going to come from a bank in two weeks. The money's not going to come from somebody I don't know in two weeks. The money's going to come from somebody that you already know and already have a warm, friendly, trusting relationship with. And I always thought, we've got a great motorcycle, everybody wants to buy it, this business is going to fly. I had the biggest lesson because for three years I couldn't buy the parts. And we didn't have a British supply chain. You will only ever be as fast as your slowest supplier. We have 1,100 parts on the bike and if I've got 1,099 parts, I can't make a motorcycle. I think what's been interesting was understanding the supply chain aspects that they all had. Three very different companies, three very different entrepreneurs, but they all had the same problems. All the same problems were supply chain, the fact that we've lost a lot of this and how do we bring that back into the UK and obviously with the, the aspects of Brexit and all of the opportunities as we've all agreed that, that brings, it's interesting to see how we're going to go forward and I suppose rebuild what, what the nation once was. This is our priorities. First of all, we must design good products. That's number one, number two and number three. Number four, we've got to manufacture them efficiently and we're quite good at making things. We make our own injection moulding, our own blow mouldings, our own printed circuit boards. We design them as well as making them. Because the secret of exporting or selling products is very, very, very simple. Make good products. Tariffs are an inconvenience. Currency, inconvenience. They're a nuisance not deal breakers. The key thing is, have a good product. People want to know who made it, where it was made, what's in it, and inevitably, is it great? And if you can satisfy all of that, you actually have half a chance of really selling, uh, not just in the UK market, but abroad. 2012, I, I read a newsletter from a firm of architects that I use in Cumbria. And they said, this gentleman has just got planning consent to build a whiskey distillery in the Lake District National Park. It's about six miles from a hotel that I, I own. So I teamed up with them, and the vision was to produce a single malt whiskey in the Lake District National Park, which is acknowledged as one of the best malt whiskies ever produced. And for a really, really good malt whiskey, you've got to work on it for at least seven years. But these things we can make straight away, gin and vodka, We won in 2016, and then in 2017, the best visitor facilities at a whiskey distillery in the world. You can become a little bit isolated in your own industry and in your own business particularly. And, and I joined really, not so much to get business opportunities, but mainly to talk to other entrepreneurs, people who are in a similar situation, in totally different industries and see how they handle the day-to-day -day issues and also to pick up on key issues that are bothering them and how they got around that. And then there's been so many things I've learned and, and ultimately, I suppose, finding mentors and mentees as well. So it's been fantastic to, to find people and supposed to engage with a forum that's really proactive in, in pushing our stories out there.